With a landing pad to finish and a brand new ship to start, there's a lot to get through this episode. This is Building Bar 2. Welcome back, Brick fans. I am Brick Mad Sam, and this is Building Bar 2. On last week's episode, we finished off the courtyard for Docking Bay 7, and this week we are going to be working on finishing off the landing pad. And then later in the episode, we will be taking a look at the design for the brand new first ship in Bar 2, which is the transport shuttle that goes on top of Docking Bay 7. I am very excited to show you guys that one, so I cannot wait. If you enjoyed today's video, guys, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you do not miss any content coming up. All right, let's not delay. Let's hit that hyperdrive and jump straight in. So we're about to jump back in to Docking Bay 7 and thankfully the pieces that I needed to finish off the landing pad are in. Uh, I've tested out a couple of other techniques that I'm going to use for the kind of scaffolding that comes out off the side of the Docking Bay uh, landing pad. And uh, so I'm going to be putting that in today and also I've been doing a little bit of thinking about how that spire is going to integrate at the back. Uh, so I did some drawing the other night, made a couple of little scribbles, and um, so there's that one. And um, what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to have a, uh, I'm actually going to put a door in there, sort of wedged inside the spire as though the lift is actually inside the spire that comes down inside Docking Bay 7. Um, I assume they would have like a cargo lift or something to get all the crates from the transport ship uh, down. So um, that's kind of for cargo though, and this one's kind of more for people. So just before I start building, I do need to show you guys something. Uh, this is something that my six-year-old did, this epic battle between good and evil. Uh, he did spend a lot of time sort of trying to put all these guys together. There's a real mix of... Um, of uh, eras here, but uh, a lot of fun and uh, well done, son. So uh, yeah, let's jump in and start this building. All right, so I have extracted these uh, two lots of the longer wedge plates from that big bag of haul that I got. Hopefully I have uh, everything that I need that uh, are the, they're the left-sided ones. And here are the right sided ones. So I think now um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one apart and uh, rebuild it essentially with the pieces that I've got here. I'm still going to use these internal pieces, I think. Uh, they're okay. Uh, I may need to swap out a few of these but I think I'm going to be able to mostly cover them anyway so I'm not too concerned about the um, the hinge joints so I'm gonna get stuck into that right now and uh, we'll see a little time lapse Okay, so here is the finished landing pad, well at least the section of the landing pad that I've built. Uh, I found a cool way to basically attach these in, uh, which meant that I didn't have to sort of use any mod bricks or anything underneath. It's basically just attaching it into the brackets that have holes within it uh, and sort of using these little cheese slopes just to sort of make it feel like they were sort of uh, positioned there correctly. Uh, I did sort of play with a different colour scheme on this, uh, which you will have seen the time lapse where I've gone for the kind of dark red 
uh, rim around here. I actually preferred the uh, sand blue overall. I think that it kind of works a bit better with the blue that I've already got on Docking Bay 7. So I thought this would just be a kind of more subdued version of it. These little uh, sort of sections here, they're kind of half shields, I guess. Um, they are a feature of the Docking Bay 7 uh, landing pad. And I've also got some lights in here, which I will... I am sort of intending to light up as well, so I will probably have to get some wiring and stuff in there just to get them lit. But uh, other than that, um, there are a couple of uh, these kind of black pieces here I will probably replace. Um, I may even replace these grey ones with a brown version. Uh, I kind of like the brown version just because it keeps it all in there. And then this centerpiece, I want all to be the darker the uh, dark brown here so uh, if I'm, I'm probably going to get in uh, a bunch more of these uh, some more of the brown ones of these uh, pieces here and just replace all of them around the side uh, I may mix it up I may keep some of the dark, the, uh, dark bluish grey and sort of keep it so that this might be just a little separate metal piece and just give it a bit more interest but Overall, I think that's looking pretty cool, and uh, now I'm just going to go over and drop it onto the top of Docking Bay 7, get it locked in, and then uh, kind of finish this section, which will be the kind of hatch where all the stuff comes down for the uh, repulsor lift. And um, yeah, but that's it. Generally, she's pretty uh, feeling pretty good. It's quite strong, actually. Like, I can actually flip it over. It does have this underside. Ideally... Um, as I started doing this, I realized that I needed kind of two sections of the of the wings. Um, so I did have to sort of keep these uh, as, a, as different colors for now. But I may end up replacing them and getting these sort of dark bluish gray in just so that it looks like that the whole way around. But for the minute, I don't think it's, uh, it's really going to be that noticeable even from the underside. So... We'll just see how it goes, but yeah, over to uh, Docking Bay 7 now to uh, put this puppy on. Alright, well, there it is. That is now in spot on top of Docking Bay 7 with the uh, surrounding scaffolding. That's what it looks like from ground level, which I think is looking pretty cool. And then obviously the transport ship, which is going to go on top. I will continue all of the tiling uh, down there, so I will we'll start that now. Uh, and jump in and do the back wall here and um, just sort of for, for the time being I'll probably just lay out where the spire is going to be so that I can put the door in that's going to match kind of the doors that are down here um, and I'll put that in just so we know where it's going to go and then uh, let's get going on that now. Here we go, here is the top of Docking Bay 7. 
The landing pad is pretty much finished now. Uh, I have a few little pieces that I'm gonna uh, add in some one by two tiles there, some gray tiles and uh, mix that up a little bit. I, I did want it to feel a little bit chipped away, but I think it's probably gone a bit too far. So I'm gonna sort of um, fill some of those gaps in a little bit. Uh, I've got these very interesting kind of shields that run around the side here and do the same over the other side. And then of course the scaffolding, which is looking pretty good. And also this little power generator that I decided to put in at the side there. And then heading over this way, you get a bit of an idea of what's gonna happen with this spire. So you'll see the rock work is going to be a little bit different from the outer and larger spires than I did on uh, Doc uh, Ondas on Doc Ondas and uh, that's mainly because I wanted the black spire to sort of be a bit more craggy and have a little bit more detail and will be darker obviously so these ones will actually be um, based off the reference the majority of it will be the kind of light bluish grey uh, with some dark tan and the occasional bit of dark bluish grey in there as well and mostly curved slopes I want these to feel a little bit smoother than uh, the other black spire that is next to Doc Ondas. So there you go. That is pretty much it. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the outcome of this. And uh, that's it for this week's building. I do have to bring in a little bit more of the uh, these curved pieces to do the rest of the spire. So that will definitely be at another week. And that will obviously come in and sort of as though this is kind of hewn into this this larger spire. Okay, so very excitedly, that is the end of this episode's building on the physical build, but now I'm gonna kick off the design for the transport, which I am very, very excited about. So let's get into it. Okay, so full disclosure, this is in fact the first ever ship that I have designed. Uh, it is one, obviously, that has a lot of interest to me. When you go to Batu, it is sitting right up on the top of Docking Bay 7. It is actually owned by uh, the cook of Docking Bay 7, uh, the Cookie Tugs is his name the tugs grub and the ship is actually called and i know i'm going to butcher this but it is the sinar shal utilipede transport uh, and it's basically been modified to uh, have these kind of crates these three big large crates to carry all the food in and uh, this is some of the crates here so i did make this little bit of change uh, to the actual ship which has kind of more darkish green i may still change it to be the dark green but i actually really like the olive uh, that goes nicely with the ship colors that I have in here. So uh, basically, these actually do kind of lock in via a Technic pin system, uh, which you will see a little bit later on. There they are. And uh, basically, they hang from the, uh, the upper ceiling of the ship. Uh, and there's obviously three of them. I will make some custom stickers for the numbers uh, and this is obviously a work in progress part of the front of the ship and at the back but uh, here are a few renders of the work in progress so far I think it is really working for now I've also got to put the landing pads in there but let me know in the comments below what you guys think and that pretty much wraps it up for today's episode let's go into the wrap up well, there you go, Brick fans. We've made some good progress today. We've pretty much finished off that landing pad now. I'm gonna order in some more to get the Aspire done that needs to go on top of that as well. And also I am pretty close to finishing off that design for the transport. I've made some really good progress with it this week uh, digitally. And then next episode, I will be working on a prototype of that. So it's basically gonna be taking the digital version uh, and then putting it into some sort of physical version and then I'll start ordering all the parts. That way uh, I'm gonna test it out and make sure that the, uh, the digital design actually translates well to physical. Uh, and then of course, uh, after that point, I'll pretty much have some instructions, which I'm sure I can share with you guys. So there is a lot still to come on bar two. I cannot wait to bring it all to you. Coming up on the channel, I do have a live this week, which I will be continuing on with the Star Wars Factions build that I started last week. 
the Rishi build. Uh, that one I am pretty excited about. I really enjoyed the, uh, the stream that we did the other day and we had some great people on. So it would be fantastic if you could join us as well. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell too, so you don't miss any content coming up. If you've enjoyed today's video, please give me a like. It really does help to spread the channel to more and more fans. If you're not able to make the live, it's okay because there will be another episode of Building Bar 2 or the first episode of Star Wars Factions My Brick Mad Journey. So until then, enjoy your building, till the spire, and may the bricks be with you.